Will Noah Lyles be able to break Usain Bolt's 200 meter record at this upcoming Olympic Games? Noah Lyles is arguably the biggest name in all of track and field. Some could argue the biggest name, at least on the men's side, since the GOAT himself, Usain Bolt, left the sport. But for Lyles, this next month will easily be the biggest, most important stretch of his entire career. These Paris Olympics are going to define whether or not Lyles is ready to take his career to the next level and really put his name up there with the elite of the elite. Coach Prime, Deion Sanders said it best that in football, there's the Hall of Fame, and then there's the upper room of the Hall of Fame where the best of the best live. The same goes for track and field. There have been many great sprinters over the years. Guys who were able to put down fast times, win world titles, even get a bronze or a silver at an Olympic games. But there have only been a few that could do all of that, break records, and win gold at the Olympic Games. There's levels to it. And if you want your name up there with the Usain Bolts, the Michael Johnson, the Carl Lewis's of the world, you're gonna have to do just that. It's no secret that in track and field, an Olympic gold medal is the standard. Yes, world titles are amazing and they should be celebrated. But nobody grows up and thinks, I wanna win a world title. They think, I wanna be an Olympic champion one day. And the thing about the three guys that I mentioned earlier, Bolt, Johnson, and Lewis, is that not only did they win a gold medal and break records, they all won multiple gold medals in multiple events, not including the relays. Carl Lewis, one of the most famous track athletes ever, won a gold medal in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and long jump back in 1984 at the Olympic Games in Los Angeles. Then he went on to win another gold medal in the 100 meter and the next three golds in the long jump. Absolutely unheard of today, as you get guys specializing in events these days. Michael Johnson, the guy who Noah Lyles passed as the fastest American ever over 200 meters became the first man to ever win the 200 meter and 40 meter gold medal at the same Olympics. Not only did he win gold in both events, he would go on to set world records in both events as well over the course of his career. Last but not least, the guy who will forever be the standard for track athletes and the greatest of all time, Usain Bolt. Bolt dominated the sport for nearly a decade, winning a gold medal in the 100 meter and 200 meter for three straight Olympics. Setting a world record in both events that still stand to this day, and a 100 meter record that might never get broken. At the peak of his career, it just got to the point where everybody that raised Bolt was just fighting for second place. Just absolutely freakish, and everyone that watched Bolt knew they were watching something extremely special. A top five athlete to ever touch foot on earth. His name stands alone at the top of a mountain that may never be reached. Coming into Paris, Lyles is the favorite to win double gold in both the 100 meter and 200 meter dash. Doing something that only Usain Bolt has done since Carl Lewis last did it in 1984. Here's the thing though, not only can Lyles double up in gold, he may actually have a chance to break that 200 meter world record. In 2022 at the World Championships, Noah Lyles broke the American record running in 1931. Here's the scary part about that though, and why I believe that Lyles has a chance to break that record. It was before he really locked in on his 100 meter race. Early in his career, Lyles was always known as a 200 meter guy. And even then he wasn't eating guys up on the curve. He was known for his strong finishes down the back half of the race. You see in 2022, when Lyles broke the American record over 200 meters, he only had a 100 meter PR of 986. To say someone only ran in the 98s is crazy. But in terms of breaking world records, it'll make sense. The 986 he ran though was three years prior back in 2019. For the last few seasons leading up to 2022, the fastest 100 meter time he had ran was 9.95. Since then, it's been no secret that Lyles has been working heavily on his start in his 100 meter race. He's been doing damn near a full indoor season, running more and more 60 meter races. And it paid off, as Lyles went from finishing seventh at the US Olympic trials in the 100 meters back in 2021, all the way to being the favorite to win the event going into Paris. A couple weeks ago in his last Olympic tune-up race, Lyles ran a lifetime PR of 9.81. In the best form of his life, Lyles is expected to do something big at this year's Olympic Games. With the competition, the adrenaline, on the biggest stage in the sport, if Lyles can run that curve like he's capable of and have a classic no Lyles finish, Usain better watch out. I also think how he looks throughout the 200 meter rounds and 100 meter rounds at finale prior will tell us if we need to be on the edge of our seats or not to witness history. Either way, we should be expecting big things to come from this year's games. Because if Lyles gets upset in either event, then you know somebody had to have put down a crazy time.